I just saw the light on and and I was hoping that you hoped for what exactly? Or should I ask who? Ava, stop. Alexis is clearly suffering. She's clearly something. And you're kicking her while she's down. Oh, should I wait for her to sober up? That might be a while. That's enough. You weren't here, Nicholas. My brother did absolutely everything he could to win her back, but no matter what he did, it was never enough for her. She always thought he was unworthy. Isn't that right, Alexis? No, Ava, it's not right. It's, it's, it's an absurd oversimplification. You wanna know something simple? Julian loved you. You were the love of his life. And yeah, he made a million mistakes. And he could be a coward from time to time, but he could also be quite heroic. He yeah, had his moments. Well, thank you. That's, that's very generous of you to admit that. I am not blind to Julian's faults. He made bad choices. And then he scrambled to cover them up, which led to worse choices, which eventually led to his death, but he was still my brother. And if I want to be angry with people who hurt him while he was alive, I believe I have that right. You broke his heart. And so in that respect, you and Julian were even. I, I understand. Okay, Julian was complicated, just like your feelings about him are complicated, but taking it out on Alexis, it's not gonna help you. It can't hurt. Listen, being cruel, it may give you a momentary sensation of power, but it's not gonna ease the pain that you're feeling over Julian's death. Well, power is definitely better than grief, but you're right. And considering that Julian never stopped loving Alexis, I don't think he'd want me lashing out at her. Probably not. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Am I saying what I'm saying? I mean, I couldn't possibly be that drunk. Have you two fallen in love? As absurd as it is, to listen to a lecture from a woman who blackmailed my nephew into marriage. But to think you two actually have feelings for each other is... I don't expect you to understand how our relationship has evolved. And yes, it's true, our marriage may have started out on tenuous terms. I think the term you're looking for is torches. Oh. oh. Torches. Well, that's a legal term, is it not? Are you still allowed to use those after being disbarred? I've some non-legal terms coming to mind. Would you like me to share them with you? <laughs> what I would like is for you to understand that while Nicholas and I started out as adversaries, we, we have developed a connection that is deeper, more profound than either of us expected. Wow. An entire field can be fertilized I with that amount of force. I just said to Ava about how cruelty is no way to deal with grief. It applies to you too. How many times does the same scenario have to play out for you, Nicholas, before you realize that it always, always, always ends the same way? Two people fall passionately in love only for it to end up where they're at each other's throats, fighting to the death. Okay, how about we sober you up and call it in tonight, huh? Oh no, let's not. A cautionary tirade like this deserves two fingers. Ava, Ava, you are not helping. Maybe I don't want to. There it is. The biting repartee, the caustic humor. It's foreplay, isn't it? Thank you. I am not gonna discuss what goes on in my marriage bed. Marriage bed. With my aunt, especially when you are in this condition. You know, you're right. It is very inappropriate for me to discuss things like that with you. Thank you. So, Ava, let me ask you. When Nicholas sees you, I mean, really sees you, does he see all of you? Not just the, the shiny, smooth parts, but the shards, the broken pieces that get swept away in the dark corners of your soul. It's 
Yeah. yeah. I believe he does. It's thrilling, isn't it? To expose yourself in that way to someone that you know you're not supposed to trust, but you do it anyway. I mean, it's so intoxicating and forbidden, and it just makes you want to devour each other, right? Wow. That is really something. Now that your law career is in the rearview mirror, perhaps you want to start a new career writing romance novels. No, you were wrong about Julian and me. It had nothing to do with him being unworthy. That had nothing to do with anything. Could have fooled me. It's because he was bad for me. I loved him so much. I know. I know. So did why? But it was crazy love. Literal crazed love. And it was great. I never felt more. I never felt angrier. I never felt more passionate. I never felt more in love. And I loved every minute of it. Even the parts that I hated. Because he was poison. Just like you and Nicholas will be to each other. That's enough. <laughs>